Uh, doing a little pallet fork work today. Got these uh, landscaping timbers yesterday, and uh, they're quite heavy. So I definitely wasn't going to carry them by hand to the back. So for right now, I'm just going to offload them from the truck, and then I'm going to put them in a stack them up in the back. Well, I got these uh, landscaping timbers in the bed of my truck that it's going to uh, take some ingenuity to get them out a little bit. I'm by myself, and what I figured that working so far is just taking this rope, putting it on the end of it, and grabbing the ends and just sliding it out, putting it onto the pallet, pallet forks, and... Uh, that seems to be working so far because I didn't think uh, these things would weigh that much but they have to be close to a couple hundred pounds is what I'm guessing and these are used uh, railroad ties they still have you know the spike holes in it from when the uh, rails were pounded down so these definitely have to take a lot of weight and so I'm going to try to get these out and not bust my butt at the same time and load them up on these pallet forks. All right, let's pull this one out. All right, go around. seem to work. I'm just going to adjust these a little bit. Raise this up. And from what I've heard, you always want to try to put your load as close to the back frame as possible. You don't want to carry it out here on the ends because uh, that could put your tipping point out in front of you. Um, these these railroad ties should be fine, uh, shouldn't be too heavy for the tractor because I have uh, ballast fluid in uh, the rear tires of the tractor. All right, well, let's get these moved to the back and it looks like I'll have two more trips after this one. All right, as soon as I can I'm going to try to Put the load down as low as I can. Again, you want to try to keep your load low. Hope that was okay. As for right now, I'm stacking these uh, timbers on this uh, cinder blocks. That way I'll be able to get underneath them and pick them up real easy. Figure this is a uh, Kind of the easiest way to do this. That way I'm not having to dig into the ground to try to pick them up and make a huge mess. I got this timber here and I want to do two at a time. So I might go back, go get another timber. This was uh, the very first one I removed just to see if it would work so I, now I got three I bought a total of seven of them and uh, so I might go and grab another one throw it on here and then that way it'll be two and I'll do another stack of two and then I'll, the last one will just be one by itself so I got plenty of some I'm going back over here so hopefully I can 
get this right. All right. This one seems to be heavier than the others for some reason. All right. Come on. You can do it. All right. Only three more to go. Raise it up. I'm going to adjust these a little bit. Right. Yep, go for just a little touch. How about that? Ah! Almost. At least I didn't knock it off. Figured I'd take you along with me this time. Gotta watch out for the kiddos. They're out here with all their uh, motorized vehicles. I'm trying not to tear up my yard too bad, but I don't have much of a choice to get these timbers back here. See if that'll be right where I want it. Uh, looks like I can go up, go up some here. The way I'm not having to drop them. And then that's better. I'm going to have to uh, pry these out a little bit from the bed of my truck because I can't get the rope around the ends of them. Carabiner's on the end of it. This is actually my rope I use to uh, hoist my tree stands up during hunting season or before hunting season, I guess you want to say. Once I get the uh, ladder sticks up, then I can just hoist this up and not have to carry it on my back. All right, there's one. Ugh. There we go. Okay, well. I'm going to go around again. i got to stop off get another set of uh, cinder blocks. And then we'll get this last uh, timber loaded up. And uh, we'll take it to the back. Right, give me a few more landscaping block or cinder blocks. I'm going to raise this up some. I don't have far to go, but as they always say, work smarter, not harder. We get two more. Is that there will be uh, for that last railroad tie? 
the setup there. I don't know if you can, uh, you gotten a shot of it or not, but the ground here is just muddy as anything. We, we've gotten rain two of the last three days, and uh, I really didn't want to come back here and, you know, put a bunch of tracks and everything, but it's the only spot that. I wanted to put these just for the time being like I said hopefully maybe uh, beginning of next week this is Saturday so maybe Monday I'll get uh, the area prepped and it's uh, gonna be right beside my shop here on the uh, right side and my wife she likes to plant her aroma tomatoes uh, right along the shop there so I wanted to, you know, just make it built up. Because I'm going to technically, they won't be sitting like this. I'm actually going to flip them up onto their sides. So they'll have, you know, a good nine inches of depth there for, uh, you know, for us to put some good soil down. And, and that way when she grows her tomato plants, uh, you know, they'll be in a good area for her. So let me try to get these loaded up next. If I keep from knocking everything over. Slowly lower. Not raise up just slightly. Make sure I'm not dragging anything. Not too bad. Well, with this one, I'm going to actually move the uh, railroad tie out to the tips. That way I'm not taking the forks and going underneath this big pile and accidentally hitting it. And So, I'm going to level this out a little bit. And I'm only going, what, five foot, so should be all right. Uh, seems pretty good. Might move it down that way a little bit. There we go. Tell you what, those railroad ties are nasty. Tractor's done all the work and seems like I've got just as dirty. So the only thing that's hard about this is seeing the tips of your forks. That should be good. All right. Well, go ahead and put my forks away. I know everybody's gonna think I'm a little weird, but I uh, actually keep my pallet forks on a pallet and I keep them covered. Um, 
I just like taking care of all my stuff and make sure it lasts me a long time. Doesn't get rusted out and everything. That's just me. Okay, about right there. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's just a small, quick video of me uh, using the pallet forks here. I've just haven't haven't had them that long, maybe a little over a month, and I've only used them a couple times. This is actually the second time I've used them, and uh, so, but uh, glad to definitely have them. They come in in handy because I when I um, went to pick these up, they were you know, they're just super heavy. You can't lift these railroad ties. And uh, the guy, he was just loading, you know, we're loading them in the back of my pickup truck. And he was using, you know, an actual pallet fork. And uh, so I was like, well, thank goodness I have pallet forks at home to be able to get these off my truck. But those come in handy. And then I don't know if you can notice also underneath the tarp there, that's the stump bucket, which... I'm hoping to get that out at some point, but again, it's so so muddy right now that uh, I just don't want to tear everything up. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was kind of a short one. Probably most people won't be interested in watching this, but again, it's uh, just stuff I do around the house. You know, there's always something to do. It's never ending, and uh, I'm sure there'll be other projects uh, that I'll be posting here again soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.